you can always um, unmute yourself and ask the question. Good, so we're gonna start by just relax the body, connecting with the body. Remember that we want to flow the energy inside. That breath will allow you to expand and relax gently inside of the body. That's the chi of life, the chi we gather from the air, very important in making our inner energy, the chi from the air, the chi from the food we eat. So we wanna make sure we breathe in correctly, breathing in. Feel the body extend, breathe out. Sink back down. Breathing in. And breathe out, relax. Feel the whole body expand as you breathe in. And breathe out. And place your hands together, interlace the fingers. We're starting with the warm up and relaxing the body, not creating tensions. Keep breathing in, enjoy the moment. I think there is an expression in Japan, turn the other side. Um, I think it's Ichigo Ichie, which means that this moment will never repeat it, itself. Whatever you're doing today at this time with the people we have in this room right now, with all of you, will never repeat itself the same way. So we're going with the elbows now. So enjoy the moment. And remember that there are thousands of people practicing Qigong at the same time now around the world to celebrate today. And let's go back. There's actually a book about it, Ichigo Ichie, very nice book. Hand on the waist and open up, nice and wide. Keep breathing in, feel the flow of energy. And the other way around. Change to the other arm, open nice and wide. I see some people practicing outside. Very, very nice. Recommend that you learn all those movements so you can go out and feel the energy in the outdoors as well. Moving the other way. And going with the hips, turning. Making sure that you don't skip it, that you go all the way around the front, the sides, the back to release any tensions and change direction. Good. Let's go with the knees, turning one way. Observing if we're putting too much tension on the knees and maybe adjusting the posture, go a little bit more gentle on the knees. Being really aware of our body. That's one of the goals of Qigong as well. If you are aware of where you have those tensions, those blockages, then the energy will flow better because you will adjust the posture. Let's go with the ankles. Change direction. And the other foot. Keep breathing, keep flowing. Working on the ankle now, change direction. And the head looking down and up. Gentle, gentle. Good. 
and side to side. And sideways, feel the stretch now in all these different muscles of the neck. Very gentle. We don't want to create pain or too much tension. It's a gentle stretch from side to side. And now we're going to work on the whole body, turning, twisting, feeling the whole spine, moving, releasing the tensions on the back. But also all the joints are working at the same time. And go back to the center and observe that warmth in the body, that heat. You might feel it as tingling, electricity or movement. And we're gonna start activating that chi, waking up our inner chi. So we're gonna move down slowly, reach down and reach up very, very, very slowly in a very controlled way. We're working on the lower back right now. Breathing in and breathe out. Very slowly, reach down and up. Very, very slowly. Feel the movement, that sensation in the lower back, in the kidney area, where we keep the original chi, that essence. Very nice, two more. Just reach down. And up, one more, very slowly, control way, observe the lower back. And go back to the center. Breathing in, take the hands towards the side and open up, placing the palms, this part of the hands together and look up. And take the hands back down and up and down, and we use the breath. Breathing in, look up, and breathe out. And breathe in, and breathe out. It's like we showing our gratitude to the universe for what we have. Breathing in, and breathe out. I'm gonna move a little bit forward. Back, breathing in and breathe out. This works on the middle back. You might feel that pull on the middle back area. Breathe in and breathe out. This time, stay with the arms there and just look from side to side. You want to look beyond the hands and this works. You can feel the upper back this time active. So we bring it up, the energy from the lower back and to the upper back now. A little bit more, one more on each side. And now take your hands towards the lower back and we're gonna massage the back by with a loose fist, just tapping on the back, activating the energy on the back. So waking it up in a stronger way now. Go up and down. As high as you can on the sides of the back, don't tap the spine. And take your hands to the sides and now take them all the way to the head and tap the head. We're beating the heavenly drum. Tap, tap, tap. Hands to the sides, going back to the kidneys. We're gonna activate it in a more gentle way. So this time the hands are facing the back of the hands on the back, going up and massaging down. Up 
and down. Working more on the surface, on the muscle part of the body. Massage down. And massage. And pick those hands up. Now go back to the head. So we're sending the energy, creating a path from the kidneys all the way to the head, to the upper um, dantian, if you want, massaging. And massage. And massage. Stay on the neck. Massage the back of the neck, creating a little massage on the sides. And take your hands back down. And this time, just leave the hands above the kidney area. Feel the warmth of the hands activating the lower back. Just take the awareness there. Remember where the intention goes, energy flows. Being aware of our kidneys. Taking the hands again to the sides, back to the head. This time we are activating the energy on the head, but without touching, we're just passing the hands above the head. Good. Taking the hands and now place them on your Dantian area. Remember, it's about four fingers below the navel in the center of the body. Just place your hands there. And just observe how you feel for a moment. And place one hand above the other. And we're going to start turning the center. Taking one hand to the top and then to the bottom. We're stirring the energy. You might feel a little bit of a pull, maybe, maybe a little movement on the Dantian area. Good. Now, all this is usually done in a sitting position. And the next movements as well, but we're going to modify them a little bit. Okay, take your hands towards the front and take one leg to the back. The front leg stays a little bit bent. And then stretch your arms. The same side of the arm goes to the back. Look at the back hand and look at the front. So one is lower, one is higher. Go back to the center and now go the other way. Look back and look front. And we breathe in here and we breathe out. Look back and front. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Take the, the leg back to the front and place the other leg to the back. Same thing, the same arm goes to the back. Look to the back hand to the front and go to the other side. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing and breathe out. Breathing, breathe out. Breathing and breathe out. Breathing in back to the front. And this time we're going to take one leg to the front. The other one stays a bit bent. I have, no, you can see my heel on the floor. And this time we alternate. So I'm going to take the opposite arm to the front. Look back and front. And then I'm going to change to the other leg. Opposite arm to the front. Look back, look front. Breathe in. Breathe out, trying to keep the balance, breathing in and breathing out. Breathe in, it helps to coordinate both sides of the brain. So we're really now on the brain part, on the upper part of the body. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in back to the center, breathe out, lower your hands down. Breathe in, take the arms to the front, breathe out, relax. 
Playing with the energy now in a very gentle way, breathing in, rising and falling. Breathe out, relax. Breathe in, straighten your legs a little bit. Breathe out, relax. Feel that flow inside of the body, rising and falling. Breathe in and breathe out. Two more, breathing in. Breathe out, relax, breathe in, and breathe out. On the next one, breathe in here and breathe out as you reach down, touching the floor, and go up. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, out, and go. You're like a bouncy leopard. And last one, breathing in here. Take your hands to the front, hold your breath, and then clap back and forth. Exhale. Again, breathing in. Take the hands to the front, hold that breath, and clap. Exhale again, breathing in. You might feel very warm now. Now hold the breath and clap. Exhale, breathing in. Take the hands up and breathe out. Take the hands to the sides, making like close and opening the eyes nice and wide. Breathing in and breathe out. Breathing and out. Two more, breathing in, breathe out. One more, breathing and breathe out again. Breathing in, take your hands up and we're steering the clouds. Imagine you're a tree maybe and you're moving those clouds with your branches. Those clouds are getting darker and darker, preparing for rain. Continue breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in, reach a little bit higher and stand. Short inhalation. Thunder. Starting to take the energy back down. Reach out a little bit more, breathe in and breathe out. Lightning, breathing in, breathing, breathing. One more. And go back to a standing position. Observe what you feel. You might feel like energy, like a gentle rain going down the body. Observe what you feel. The energy went all the way up and now it's going all the way down. Energizing very gently the whole body going back down. The whole energy in the body is active. We're gonna start with 12 rivers. So we have the energy already working and now we're gonna channel it correctly through the 12 meridians. Starting with the spleen, breathing in here and breathe out, turn to one side, take the arm back and one to the front, making that big position with your hands. Breathing back to the center, it's very light. You're a bird, you're a crane. And imagine you have wings opening. The front, Foot turns about 45 degrees. One more, breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in, back to the center, relax those hands, feel that energy sinking back down. Going for the heart, breathing in here, the thumb is inside the fist, breathe out. And stretch, breathing in and breathe out. 
and stretch. Breathe in and breathe out. And stretch. Small intestine, breathing in, punching the wind, breathe out. Turn that hand around, reach out and bring the hand back inside. Breathe in and breathe out. Feel the twist on the back shoulder. Reach and back in. Breathe in, breathe out from the chest. Turn around and reach out. Open up the hand. Breathing in, breathe out. Twist and release that energy. Breathe in and breathe out. Feel that twist. And in and breathe out. Turn and release that energy. Bring your hand back. Breathe out, relax those hands. Take your legs a little bit closer. They should fit in between, between the shoulder um, width. Breathing in, straight legs, arms and back. Reach down, breathe in. Put the hands together, interlace the fingers and breathe out, release. And again. Straight arms, legs, and back, breathing in. Interlace the hands, take your arms to the front and breathe out, relax, let it all go. Bring the pelvis to the front. Again, one more, breathing in. Everything is straight, 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 and let go. One and two. Take your uh, legs a little bit more. Uh, white. There we go. You are riding a horse. Relax the legs, relax the knees. Breathing in here, take your hands to the chest and breathe out. Straighten the front arm and um, imagine you are pulling a bow. Breathing in here and feel that stretch, that opening in the, in the chest. Breathing in and that pull in the lower back, strengthening our kidneys. This is our kidney movement. Breathing and breathe out. Breathing and breathe out. Make a big ball. Breathing in here. And turn the hands so the palms are facing out. Breathe out as you turn one side and the other. Pericardium. Breathing in. Working on all the organs of the body. Breathing back to the center and breathe out. Breathe in and out. One more, breathing in and breathing out. Breathe in, let's go on this side again and Make a ball as you breathe in and relax your arms. Feel that energy going down, down, down and get your feet a bit closer again. We're going with the triple warmer meridian, working on all the organs as well. Breathing in, take your hands above your head, interlace the fingers and stretch as you look up. Very good. Open up the arms and relax the arms. And again, breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. It's going to be moving a little bit. I can fit my arms and stretch. Breathe in and breathe out. One more. Breathe in. Hands above the head. Interlace the fingers and push the hands out and up. And go back down. Very good. Open up your legs a little bit more. We're going with the gallbladder. Breathing in here and breathe out as you reach forward. Turn one palm to the other side and turn back. Look to the back side, the back wall behind you. Breathing in here, reach forward and turn to the other side. And feel that stretch on the sides. Breathe out as you reach and back. Breathing in, in the center, breathe out, go to the other side. And again, breathing in and breathe out. And if you cannot follow the breath, it's okay. Just breathe at your own rhythm. Don't hold the breath so you don't block that energy. 
Breathe in and out and the other side. Breathe in and out and turn to the other side. And hands on the waist, breathing here. Breathe out, reach to the side. Breathe in, take the hand back to the front and reach down as you breathe out. Breathing in back to the center, breathe out, push the side. Breathing in, turn that foot back to the center. This one is straight, this bent, and look down towards the ankle as you breathe out. Breathing in, liver, breathe out. Breathing in, reach down, breathe out. Again, breathing, breathe out, breathing in, and look down, breathe out. One more on each side, breathe in. Move to the side, breathe in again, feel that stretch on the inner part of the leg, reach down. Four body movements, breathing in, two, three, and four. Good, let's go back to the center, long meridian, breathing in here, turn to the side as you punch and twist that wrist so the little finger faces up, nice and open. The dragon is clearing a path. Breathing, breathe out. Breathing as you open up and breathe out as you close that circle. And breathe in as you bring the elbow back. Breathe out, breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and out, breathe in, out. Breathing one more on each side and punch and open nice and wide, working on the lungs, massaging those lungs with this movement. Feel those lungs opening and closing. Breathing in and breathe out, relax the hands. Place the thumbs inside of the legs, right above your knees and breathe in, going down from one side, allowing your head to swing and breathe out the other side. Place the weight on your arms so your spine is, allow that flexibility to move from side to side without too much tension. Again, breathing in and breathe out. And we start breathing in the other way. Now breathing on the other side, breathe out. And breathe in. And breathe out. Good, and go back to a standing position. Place your feet together, move a little bit so I have space and make a big ball. Breathing in here and stretch those arms one up, one down. Breathe out and look up. Stomach meridian, breathing in here and breathe out. Go on the balls of your feet and look up. Breathing in and breathe out. Feel that stretch in here. We're stretching the stomach, breathing in and breathe out. Digestion problems is a great exercise to do this one and the one before, breathing in and breathe out. Breathing in, back to the center, breathe out, open up the legs. Going back to the first one, the spleen. Breathing in, make that position, that big uh, shape with the hands, breathe out, turn. Breathing in, feel that lightness, your back to being a crane, float in the air. Breathing in, you're about to take off. Breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. And breathing back to the center and breathe out. Relax those hands and place them on your down team. Observe what you feel in the area below the hands, the down team, that reserves of energy, the ocean of chi. You want it to be strong. We're starting with between heaven and earth practice. Starting to massage the Dantian activating the center. Massage the Dantian area, also very good 
to activate your digestion if you have any issues related to your digestive system. And go the other way. Breathing in, place your hands in front of you, in front of the chest, breathe out, spread those arms and look at one hand and look at the other hand and breathe in. Breathe out, we're expanding that body space, removing tensions from the body, bringing the energy to the surface of the body so it just doesn't stay in the center that it's spread everywhere else. Breathing in. And breathe out, spread those hands, look and look. Breathing in, breathe out. Breathing two more on each side, breathe out, spread. Breathing, spread those hands, look and look. Breathing in, one more on each side, look and look. And one more time. Spread those hands, look and look. Attention, we're changing the positions of the arms, breathing. One up, one down, palms are facing out. Look up and down, breathing in. And stretch, breathe out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in, breathe out. Again, breathe in. And breathe out, look up and down, and we turn in the position of the hands. The one at the top goes to the bottom. Breathe in and stretch, look up and down. Breathing in and breathe out. Breathe in and out. One more, breathing in and breathe out. Look up and down. Breathing in back to the center, turn the hands of the fingers, face back up and turn to the side. Look back in front. Breathing in, hands closer and breathe out, spread those arms, look back in front. Breathing in and breathe out, stretch. Breathing and breathe out. One more, breathing in, feel that stretch on the body. And out, breathing in back to the center. Breathe out, spread those arms. Same exercise as before, which is spreading the energy in a different way, making sure it reaches every part of the body. Stretch, look back and front, two more, breathing in. And breathe out, expand that body. One more, breathing in and spread, look back and front. Breathing in, back to the center. Breathe out, relax those arms. We're ready to start with the eight extra meridians. Breathing in, hands to the sides. Look up and breathe out, hands back to the front of the body. So if you can feel a wave of energy going up and down, you may feel some tension on your back, that energy activating the muscles on the back as you raise your arms and the front as you lower the hands in front of the body. Breathing and breathe out. One more, balancing the nervous system right now. And breathe out. Hands now towards the front. We're going the other way around. Breathing in here, turn the hands around, breathe out, hands to the sides. Breathing in, breathe out, balancing yin and yang. So parasympathetic nervous system, the front part, the yin part, and sympathetic nervous system, the back part, the yang. Breathing in, breathe out. Breathing, breathe out. Changing the exercise now, breathing, turn to one side, Hands are facing the body at all times. Breathe out, turn back. Breathing, breathe out. Breathing, breathe out. We are working on all the connective tissue in the body. All the joints are being activated. 
with this movement. We're changing the breathing pattern. We start breathing in on the other side. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. We're not touching the body. The hands are just facing the body without touching. Last one and go back to the center. Release those hands. Breathing in, take the arms above, the hands above the shoulders, breathe out, release those hands up. Now I'm gonna show you for the ones who are not familiar with this exercise before you join me, that you should not force your knees if you have knee problems or if you have uh, shoulder problems, you don't have to straighten those arms so much. The exercise is that follows, we go down, and we go up. If you have knee problems, you just stay where it feels comfortable. You will still activate those meridians. Breathing in here, breathe out, stretch the arms. Breathing in and breathe out. Awareness in the front of the body, the energy goes down through the front and out through the back. Breathing in and breathe out through the back. And changing that pattern now, we're breathing in through the back, and up through the front, breathing in down the back, breathe out up the front, awareness on the back, back, back of the body, front, back, front, and take those arms down slowly and place them on your waist and start spiraling the legs, working on the penetrating vessel, Chang Mei, creating that space so we can connect to heaven and earth. Change direction. Focus on the soles of the feet. See what you feel inside the leg. In the center of the leg, you want the energy to go all the way here, gathering the energy from earth. And the other leg, spiral. and the other way around. Let's go with the waist. The whole torso spirals now, so we create more movements. They don't have to be as wide as the warm up. We want the energy to go all the way towards the neck. So it's going through the legs and now going in the center of the torso. That meridian acts like an axis if you want in the center of the body, holding everything together. Go one way, change direction now. And take one arm up and spiral with the arm now. You want the energy to go uh, from the shoulder out to the hand. Change direction. And hand down, other arm, spiral one way. The other way. Take the hand down again and we go with the head little spirals. One way. And the other way. And go back to the center. We're going to connect with heaven and earth. So if you're done between heaven and earth, you know that we have energy coming from earth and the softest parts of the body are gathering that energy. So the soles of the feet, the perineum are gathering energy from earth because they're facing down. And whatever it's facing up, the face is soft, very receptive. The hands are soft, very receptive as well. That's why we use them for healing. So you want to feel a flow of energy coming from heaven above your hands to earth. If you're not uh, comfortable, you don't feel the energy yet, I just want you to focus on what you feel on those parts of the body, on the arms, the torso, and the legs. Observe what it is that you feel. Take the hands up, lengthen the neck. You don't want to squeeze the neck. You want to make sure that it's nice and long. 
And then observe what you feel, breathing in and out normally. Observe what you feel on your hands. The energy of the heaven is young and warm, more active, so you might feel your hands warm. Observe what you feel in the arms, what's happening in the arms, what sensations do you feel? And some people feel like, oh, I feel like numbness. Is it or is it energy? Warmth, movement, tingling. Try to place a name, a, a, a tag to that feeling. Everybody feels energy in a different way. And you might feel it uh, differently tomorrow as well. Energies, there are many different energies in the body. Observe what you feel in the center of the body now. What sensations do you feel on your legs? And the feet. And observe if there is a flow connecting those parts of the body, like energy going up and down, strengthening your inner energy. Just observe what you feel. Don't stress if you don't feel anything. You probably feel warm. And maybe your arms are getting tired and tingly. That's energy. And take those arms down. Place them on the hands on the dantian. And observe what you feel now below under the hands. Is this sensation you're feeling now, does it feel the same now than at the beginning of the class? And now as you breathe in, send the energy to the Dante and the area below the hands. And as you breathe out, imagine that energy is spreading, filling the whole body. Imagine either a light or that you're inflating like a balloon. You want to send that energy everywhere from the Dantian to your toes and fingers and head. And spreading the energy inside of the body. We're going to start strengthening our energy fields. So see if you can send that energy, spread that energy outside of the body as well. Make that energy outside of the body stronger. Send that energy from the Dantian, spreading it out inside the body and then outside as well. Observe if there are any areas of tension inside of the body. Relax the posture a little bit, maybe to release those tensions. And if there's still any areas of pain, blockages inside of the body, use the breath to eliminate those tensions. Imagine that breath out, dissipating that area that's blocked. Erasing that blockage, removing the blockage from the body. And if you feel any areas around the body in your energy fields that don't feel right, some places that feel, feel like something here is not right, use that breath as well to remove those blockages in your energy fields. Cleansing and strengthening the inner part of the body, the outside of the body. Observe how you feel now. And relax the hands. We're going to activate play with energy outside of the body. We're going to place the hands together and start rubbing, bringing the hips to the palms of the hands. Remember, here it is energy. So you can feel the hips in the hands. We're going to tap to activate the nerves. With the nerves, we create a magnetic field outside of the body. OK. 
and back. And clap. And clap. And place your hands in front of you and observe what you feel. First on the surface of the hands, you might feel heat and tingling. You activated the nerves. Observe what you feel in between. You can get your hands closer if you don't feel anything. You might feel heat in between the hands. And start separating your hands and getting them together closer. Observe what's happening. What do you feel as you do this movement? Do you feel like a pulling sensation, magnetism in between the hands? Start making movements like a bicycle with the hands and observe what's happening in between the hands as well. You might still feel the heat turned the other way. We're gonna start opening the hands a little bit more. We're gonna start gathering that energy in front. See if you can create a ball of energy just by getting the energy between the hands a bit more compact. You might feel like there is some um, bouncing back as you try to press those hands together as if there was something in between. You don't feel anything, you can always get the hands closer, getting to feel that heat and tingling again, and then you can go back to making the ball. And now place the hands just in front of you and lower them down. You might still feel those hands warm and active. We're gonna start feeling the energy inside of the body now. Feel the hands still active. Breathing in. Breathe out. Feel the warmth, that energy going up and down. You might feel like a wave rising and falling. Breathing in, straighten the legs a little bit. Breathe out, relax the legs. Observe the hands. Are they still warm? Do you still feel some tingling sensation? And now place the hands in front of you and we're gonna start moving those hands from side to side. And you might still feel that sensation under the hands. Keep breathing in and breathing out. We're starting with enter the flow. So moving the energy around your energy field. So if you're strong inside, which we strengthen the energy with, enter the, between heaven and earth, sorry, this entering the flow is going to allow you to steer that energy outside of the body. The energy field that you also strengthen with between heaven and earth. Move from side to side. Observe what you feel under the hands. You may feel as well some sensation in the arms. Imagine you're steering the mist. You are surrounded by mist. And those sensations that you feel now on the hands might be everywhere inside of the body. We can go a bit further back. And we're gonna make different movements with the arms. Imagine that you're swimming through that mist now. Keep observing what you feel around the hands and the arms. You might feel that every time you change the movement of the arms, it creates different sensations inside of the body. You're moving the energy in different ways inside. Observe what's happening, not only outside as you're steering that mist, but inside. Change the movement now. That sensation inside of the body is changing. That tension that you're creating as you move the arms away from you 
creates different tensions inside. So you're moving the energy inside of the body in different ways. Make sure that you relax. Go back, connect with your body again. This is something you can do throughout the day. Connect, are you, is your body relaxed? Are your joints aligned? Are you able to flow that energy? If something is too tense, connect with the body. I'm creating too much tension here and go back to what you're doing. Adjust that position and go back. So we did these two movements. And now we can make a shape, an H shape with the arms. And observe that sensation outside of the body, around the body and the arms, the hands, but also inside the body. There is movement, different movement, different tensions now inside. Keep breathing in and out, relax the body. The more your body is relaxed, the better the energy will flow. Your tense, it will block the energy. Good. We can make a dive and swing movement. So we take one arm towards the back, looking at the hand, and that hand goes back towards the front. The other one goes to the back. The front hand turns around, so it's facing the ceiling. And we start again with the other arm. Imagine that you're swimming. And once you have that movement of flow, this is part of the enter the flow course. So there's a lot of different movements that you learn in the course, but placing the right pressure in the legs, not too much, not too less, allowing those legs to empty completely so you can gently walk um, without um, straining those joints. So very, very soft movements of the legs. Then you can start swimming like a dragon. We can use those movements that we learn with the arms and imagine that you are dragging between the clouds and just moving. And here you can use your imagination to move from side to side, creating movements with the arms. Imagine that you're in that mist, moving that energy. There is no right, no wrong. The only thing that you need to remember is that you want to continue breathing so you don't block that energy and that you need to be relaxed. If you are thinking too much, what am I doing? What am I doing? Then it, it's not gonna flow. It doesn't matter what movement. Observe what you feel inside of the body. You might feel like you're floating, a floating sensation. You want to be very light, very light in the joints, in the legs. So very gentle movements from side to side. And place your hands back to the dante and allow that energy to settle down for a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna to try to teach you on the first movement of uh, Tai Chi. I never taught Tai Chi before. This was taught to me um, when I went to China to do my internship. And there is um, a set of 24 movements that can be up to 108 as well. Um, but it's not an easy technique to teach because it's a lot of details with the hands and the feet, but we're gonna try, we're gonna try. So we place the hands, uh, the feet together. And just observe the body, relax the body. Remember, it's about feeling the flow of energy. So if the movement is not perfect, it doesn't matter, as long as you flow. And slowly place the weight on one leg and take the other leg towards the side. Breathing in here and breathe out, relax the body. You know this movement, feel the energy go down. We're gonna make a ball of energy. We're gonna start again. Feet together. Just observe the, the body. Place your weight on one leg. Take the leg to the side. Relax the body. Up and down. Take one leg back to the other leg and make a ball now. Again, feet together. 
slowly, weight on one leg so you can lift the other leg. Go to the side. Breathe in. Breathe out. Weight on this leg so you can bring this leg back here and make a ball. This time, we're gonna go from here, lift the leg, place your heel on the floor and take one hand in front of the face and the other one is on the side of the body. This one is bent and this one is back. We're gonna try again. Let's go back to the front. Relax. Wait on one leg, put the leg to the side. Relax the body, remember, breathe in, breathe out. One leg goes back to the other leg, make a ball at the same time. Put the heel to the front and one hand, look at the hand, it's horizontally, one hand goes on the side. Good, we're gonna move again. We're gonna take the back leg closer to the front foot and make a ball again. This time the other hand is um, above. And we're gonna move to the other side, heel on the ground, same movement. Hand in front of the face, hand on the side of the body. We start again, feet together. Take one leg to the side. Breathe in, breathe out. Leg closer to the body, make a ball. Leg to the front, heel and move that hand in front of the face, one is on the side. Leg from the back goes towards the front and we do the same thing on the other side. This is Tai Chi. Look at the hand and we're gonna do the same thing, this time going back to the other side. So bring the back leg to the front and so this is the first movement. We're gonna repeat it again. I'm not gonna go through more because there's so much, but I wanted you, since it's not only Qigong Day, but Tai Chi and Qigong Day, I wanted to give you a little bit of Tai Chi as well. So we're using Qigong movements. We're using the same concept of breathing and feeling the energy flowing. It's just movements put together, making a beautiful dance. So feet together. And take one hand, one leg to the side, breathing in and breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. All right, one last time. This is actually fun. <laughs> Stay fit together. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, make your ball. Breathe out, spread that energy. Breathe in, go to this side now. Breathe out. Hands together, making the ball and move to the other side now. And Go back to the front and place your hands into Dantian and observe how you feel right now. And move that energy in the Dantian. Making sure there's no blockages of energy. And I like you to think about today. I know there are so many classes available today. More doesn't mean better. Listen to the energy, balance your yin and yang. I did. I don't know, I think one of my friends is here in uh, the class today in Mauritius. We went to a festival where I was teaching, but we could take all, we go the other way around. All these different classes were available for instructors or everybody who joined the festival. And I did five, six classes a day. And I was out for three weeks. It was yoga and meditation and qigong and lots of different healthy things. But remember to balance. It's all about balancing. Hands on the kidneys, massage the kidneys. So doesn't mean that because there are lots of things available today, that's going to be healthy. So balance your practice. A good meditation will be great today as well. Some breathing. You already did a lot of exercise. Of course, you can do other classes, but listen to your inner energy. Do you have the energy to do more? 
I'm tapping the outside of the legs, yang, yin, out of the body, yin, and yang. Yin and yang. I know some of you are like, oh, she's always repeating the same thing, yin and yang. But once you do some of the courses with me, you know the importance of knowing what the yin and yang is. Because the energy flows in different ways. But the yang goes down, the yin goes up through the 12 meridians. Yin and yang meridians go through the back. Yin and yang. Face and hand and back. And this time we're just going to caress the body very gently. Imagine half feathers going down and up inside of the body, inside of the chest, the hands. Very, very gentle, barely applying any pressure. It's very, very gentle. Going back to the kidneys, bring those hands back to the front. Observe how you feel. Remember that Ichigo Ichie, that right now, this moment, right now, what you're feeling, where you are, with the same weather, the same energy, the people we are here together will not repeat itself. So enjoy this moment. Feel the energy settling back in the body. Think of all the people practicing Qigong right now at the same time around the world. Observe how you feel. And I thank you, thank you very much for being here with me today. I know it's gonna be a very busy day for all of you. Um, opening to, open to questions, because I got so many messages. Hi, everyone. <laughs> that was amazing, Sandra, thank you. Thank you. Oh, that was fantastic. It was brilliant. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Happy birthday, Jackie. I think it was your birthday not long ago. No, it was, yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, thank you so much. If you have any questions, um, use those practices to flow. Learn the movements. You have all the videos. Learn the movements so you can practice outside. It's so beautiful to practice outside. There's no confinement now. I think they're opening up for many of you. Um, so go outside and feel that energy. It's so beautiful. So practice. If you struggle with movements, let me know. Let me know. Um, and we can go through this movement so you can stop watching all these videos and go uh, not hand on the on the phone or the iPad to, to do those movements, remembering them and feeling that energy. Any questions that you have, we I have between heaven and earth and enter the flow courses starting next week. I'm not gonna bombard you with uh, all those courses, but if you have any questions about those, if you're missing some of those courses, let me know. And waking the chi, the one we did at the beginning is starting, um, I think it's the 17th of May. So any questions you have, please do let me know. It's so nice to see you. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen some Thank of you in a while. <laughs> Hi, Sue. <laughs> Hi, Claire. <laughs> Keep in touch. Let me know. Don't stop the practice. Don't uh, feel like, oh, I don't remember the movements. I cannot do the movements. I can't practice. If you struggle, either reach out to me or other instructors that have taught the course and say, listen, I took the course with you. I I can't practice. I can move on. I'm struggling. That's why we are here. It's not about four or five days in a course. We need to use that course. Okay. So thank you. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. Everybody. Have a good weekend. Bye. 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 Bye.